Huh? Oh, I'm just going out to go for a walk, that's all. Yeah, you can join. Um... Why did you want to join me? Oh. But, uh... What do you want to talk about? There really isn't anything to talk about, is there? You don't want to talk about me? But why? That's fair. You don't really know all that much about me, do you? I thought I would have told you right now or something. After all, we've known each other for over a year now. Well, what do you want to know? Oh, that's... Well... The reason I was talking about eating your emotions and such when we first met was... Well, you know how people get a stage in their lives when they think they're something they aren't? Like, middle schoolers would think that the Dark Lord of the Shadow Dimension sealed away in another world or something. Yeah, I was going through a stage like that. I had mine rather late. <sighs> Please don't talk about it, though. Oh, oh, don't worry, I kept myself fed. Whenever you went to bed and I was just alone, I raided the fridge and cabinets. I always kept a lookout for when you put takeout into the fridge. I always enjoyed that. <laughs> Sorry, I was hungry. Uh, well, yeah, slimes can taste food. In fact, we can do a lot of things that humans and other robots we can do. We can eat without just absorbing the food, you know. That way, when we eat it like you guys do, we get a better feel for its taste and texture and we can enjoy it more. We can taste it a little bit if we absorb it, but we like it better if we eat it directly. Like I told you before, we can wear clothes and such to our membrane. We can sleep, and we can dream, we can work a task as well, if not better, than other people. I I'm not tuning my own horn. If you can form multiple hands, the work will get done faster. The membrane we have is really stretchy if you stretch it slowly. So we can form multiple limbs. What can't we do? Well... We have a hard time swimming, since we're pretty much just living jello. We just sink to the bottom. Luckily, we don't really need air, but it makes most of the subspecies of slime, my kind of concluded, rather uncomfortable to be in the water. I think the blue slimes like to be in the water, though. Most of us really can't cook either, since we either have a food source that can't be cooked, or we can eat the food raw. And if we don't like it raw, we can always just go somewhere and have others cook it for us. But I may become one of the few slime chefs there are. After all, I got you as a teacher. Mm, let's see. What else can we do? 
What else can't we do? Um, mm. Oh yeah, we we can't um <laughs> we can't stay out in the cold for too long if it's really cold, like below freezing temperatures, because then you'll start to freeze. <laughs> So we gotta look out for that. <laughs> Some species of slimes are more immune or rather resistant to the cold than others, but none of us are totally immune to it. Unless there's some sort of undiscovered species out there. <laughs> at the park. It's a rather short walk from your place to here, isn't it? <laughs> Either that or I've been spouting about myself and my species way too much. <laughs> What should we do here? Okay, now decide if you can't choose then. <laughs> I think we should just relax and enjoy the scenery. It seems rather peaceful here. The animals here are enjoying life. Even if there aren't many out right now. The birds are always here though. <laughs> we aren't ever getting rid of them. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching the come with me. Having someone to talk to is rather pleasant, don't you think? Yeah, let's watch the birds. We'll go home in a little bit. But for now, let's enjoy the birds.